everybody, I'm Ashley Esqueda and it's time for another installment of Just Show Me on Tekka TV, where we take your tech toys and gadgets and show you how to get the most out of them. Today I'm going to show you how to re-download an app on your iOS device. Now sometimes you might delete an app only to realize later that you'd like to have it back and you'd like to use it again. Well, how do you get it back? Well, let's show you how. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the App Store. So we're going to tap on the App Store and you can do this from any iOS device, an iPhone, a iPod Touch, anything like that you can do this on. Head into the App Store and you want to head to, on the bottom of the screen you have some categories that you can choose from. You want to go to the Purchased tab, which is the second to last tab on the bottom of your screen. And once you do that, a list will populate for you that are all of the apps that you've purchased in the past, it doesn't matter when you did it, and you can see that it'll say installed in a grayed out area if it's already on your device. But what if it's not? So find the app you're looking for, and you can actually search for it if you have a lot of apps. My friend Mike Hobbs, friend of Tekka, has over 170 apps on his iPhone. Now I don't have a whole lot of apps on my iPad, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use the front arrow to go ahead and scroll through the list of apps. And on the second page, I've got an app here that isn't installed on my iPad, and you can tell because there's a little cloud icon with a down arrow, and that means you can download it from the cloud. So once you tap on that, it'll ask for your Apple ID password. Go ahead and type that in. And once you hit enter, it will immediately begin downloading that app to your iOS device. You can see the progress bar go, and once that's finished, you can use your app just like you did before. That's been Just Show Me on Tekka TV. Be sure to check out Tekka.com for all of our other content, and we'll see you next time.